The only way to describe the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's a symphony. your people how you doing welcome back techers to another exciting show that is rate my tech Woo! i'm a bit hot today however can't complain i've been really busy i didn't get a chance to do because i work all week it's hard to get videos in so i try and do as much as i can each weekend for the following week for you guys so just bear with me but i've got a lot to come there is a lot to come there's some updates coming to sky stream there's some updates coming to apple tv there is more coming from i've got this one here this people is the iphone 15 pro max now i got this quite early i'm really happy thank you apple for doing that for me um i've also been given this the woven case and i have to say that the feeling of the woven case is really really nice i even sometimes i know it sounds really silly it's like um it's like a little bit like of a short air dog you know we just sit there and you just kind of stroke it a little bit i know i know you probably hit me up in the comments you sad bastard i get it i get it however i will say this when obviously when you hold the phone i don't know how you guys hold the phone but when you hold the phone like this it is a little bit underneath here if you can see that at all it is just a little bit sharp on the finger with the woven case but the case itself is really nice but let me just take it out of the case for you because it's snug as a bug in there and i have to be careful because i hear these things can break quite easily uh, not the case but the glass in the back of the phone okay so the phone itself i mean you can see the smoothness there now i've got the black now there is slightly even though it's titanium there are you can see that there's like fingerprints on there i don't know if you can see that or not however now holding it without the case underneath here is now really smooth it's so comfortable to hold in the hand and the one thing i was is because before i had the excuse me i had the iphone 13 pro not the max and i thought oh the max is going to be huge but because those bezels are really slim and it's so much lighter now compared to my friend's one who's got the 14 pro and the other guy who's got the 14, uh, 14 uh, 13 pro max they are considerably heavier and that sharpness you really do notice that this is so much nicer to hold in hand now let's tackle some of the issues now i shot an entire video on here for my food and dudes channel uh last sunday at the db shack it, you can check it out i'll link the description of the other channel what a shameless plug that is um yes so food and dudes on the other channel i shot an entire video non-stop for well over 30 minutes doing the review on this puppy now if you look on Twitter, sorry, X, God damn it, am I ever going to get used to that? Um, there is tons and tons of people saying it's so hot that they can't hold it. I have to say, 
I think they are bullshitting or they are charging with an unregistered USB. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I shot an entire video uh, in cinematic and obviously in normal and took video and took pictures for the Instagram page for Food and Dudes constantly. So constant recording for 30 minutes, then taking pictures, uploading the posts, uploading TikToks, uploading Insta Reels, all from this device without breaking a sweat. This thing did, it, it was slightly warm on the back. That was it. So I don't know, I don't know what they're still talking about. I mean, the screen itself, um, it's, it's nice. I love the look and feel of it. It's so responsive. Um, you know, it, it's got, I mean, it is really nice. And some of the new features that they've got as well, I'm liking the FaceTime stuff with the thumbs and, but just, to, and do you know what I hate the most is the fact that it's, so expensive that you have to put the case on it because you know i don't know if you watch jerry rig everything he did this where he held it like that and started to see if it would bend now the structural part of the phone of course was absolutely fine however the, sh the thin sheet metal of glass whatever that is on the back here shattered i was a little bit shocked now i don't know how much pressure he put on that so be careful, if you buy the, the iPhone Pro 15 Pro Max and put this in your back pocket and sit down, to be fair, I have done it a couple of times by mistake and it's been absolutely fine. It could shatter, but then again, I did it with the case on. These cases are really sturdy from Apple. Thank you, Apple, for sending me the case as well as the phone, by the way. Um, and I am looking forward to the Ultra Watch 2 when it finally gets delivered because it got delivered something happened got sent back they have to recheck it back in and send it back out but thank you apple for sending me these review units um i'm really pleased but yes i'm you know that i wish i didn't have to put a case on this because it just looks so god damn nice it's just so silky smooth in the hand however they've done a very very good job you know and this just kind of clips in gives you that little bubble thing that tells you oh it's got the you know, the charge in the mag safe and to hold this as well like this in the case is lovely it is just if you're doing that finger underneath while you're scrolling or doing stuff that's a little bit under uh, uncomfortable okay so let's have a look at the video footage i'm going to show you front and back cameras of video i'm going to take some pictures as well let's have a look at the montage so this is the front facing camera on the iphone 15 Pro Max. Now I am just holding this up in my hand. I haven't got any tripods or anything fancy like that. It's just the iPhone 15 Pro Max front facing camera. This is the video. This is the sound that it's producing. Um, I think it's quite on the screen. It's very, very clear indeed. Um, looks, looks really good. I'm going to attempt now to do the rear facing camera with the microphone on the iPhone. There is nothing attached to this. You know me guys, I'll give it to you straight. So this is the rear facing camera of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, again, I have a case, I have the woven case on this one. Um, I'm walking along to see if there's any shudder, if the, uh, you know, that it handles it. Now I've got direct sunlight coming in from this side. So the lighting is gonna be slightly out, um, but I don't know what the sound quality is like, but um, this is the rear facing camera of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is cinematic mode of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, this is on 4K30. Um, now, in my background there, like the blurred bit that's going on here, it, if I turn and walk, uh, there's like a little shadow in the thing, but I don't know what's gonna come out in postscript, of course. Um, at the moment, I think it looks really cool. Look at that action cam. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work, but it looks really good. I don't know how that's gonna sound or how it's gonna come across, but we shall see. Front facing camera, 4K60, cinematic mode. This is the rear camera, cinematic mode, and now I can't see the front screen, so I have no idea what this is gonna come out like and what it's gonna sound like, but I hope it's okay. I'm gonna jump around in cinematic mode in the camera. <laughs> I don't know what that's gonna do, but this is the rear facing camera, iPhone 15 Pro Max, cinematic mode. So what did you think? I mean, the quality. Now I have a Canon, I have a professional, I have two professional Canon cameras. I've had them for a while and um, they're really good. I've got professional microphones. They are really good. 
However, look at the video that I shot on Sunday over at Food and Dudes. Shameless plug. <laughs> um, go and look at the video at that and look at the quality. Now, when I shot that video, I didn't have any tripods. I didn't have any microphones. I just held the phone like this and shot the entire video that was shot at the DB Shack on this device. And I have to say, holy shit, I am absolutely stunned of the quality of that phone. Now, I know I can hear you Android people screaming, you sheeple, Apple sheep, you know, and I get that. But come on, guys, you know, uh, uh, the OS, there are some things I would change on the OS. I don't like the way that the icons snap into place. It can be very fiddly. Why can't we just put the icons wherever we want? Or not have the icons at all and just have the app drawer and have the app drawer in alphabetical order rather than this crazy Apple way of doing things. I get that. There are some little things that I would change on the iOS. But the quality of the software integrating with the hardware, the way those cameras operate. Yes, I can't zoom into the moon like Samsung does and give you a fake picture, by the way. Um, it gives you what it is, you know. How often am I going to be going out and shooting the moon? <laughs> it, you know, it's a gimmick. But the sheer quality, if I want to capture amazing footage, cinematic footage, portrait footage, all of those things in this tiny little device, and so far for me, the battery's been really, really good. I'm charging. I've not had any degrading. You know, I've had this phone now for a good couple of weeks. Um, and I have to say, Apple has knocked it out of the park. Now, I don't know about the whole bend gate and, you know, whatever that might be and the cracking of the glass. We'll see how that goes with time. Um, but for now, um, I'm loving the Dynamic Island. I'm loving the, the look and feel. I mean, the, the nits and the brightness on this is phenomenal, you know, in direct sunlight. The call quality, I love the fact that when you pull it down, you can do the isolated thing, so it blocks out everything. And it's really funny as well, because the person on the other end, I say, is that better? And they said, oh my God, what have you done? It is incredible how Apple have packed the amount of technology that they have packed into this tiny little device. Um, so, I know you're going to call me sheeple, but for me, the iPhone Apple 15 Pro Max, for its lightness, the comfortability, the, the smaller bezels, everything that they've done is a great improvement. And for me, it's definitely a thumbs up, which now if I could do that on the on the FaceTime, there would be loads of stuff. Or I could do this with lasers or I could do, uh, yeah, there's loads of stuff you could do. Check it out. There's loads of people that are doing it and showing you. So as always, people, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Thank you so much. Now, I would like for you, if you could just take two seconds, two seconds. Just have a look down there and you'll see this little subscribe button. If you could just click that and there's a little thumb thing there. If you could just click that. And if you think that anyone would benefit from my honest opinion, uh, you know, I will give you honest. Yes, I know you think I'm a sheep. I've got an iMac. I've got all this stuff. But it just works to quote Paul. <laughs> it just works. It really does just work. It is you know, that bloody ecosystem that Apple have built. But I do have a very strong appreciation for Android. I certainly love the Pixel. Um, I've never been a big fan of the Samsung, although they are high quality phones. I just don't like the amount of apps that it gives you because you have to swap. I like, if I go to Android, it will probably be the Pixel 8. Um, if, if I have that opportunity, Google, if you're watching. Um, but for me, all day long. Smash it out, part. Until next time, people, peace.